Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all healthy. I hope that uh, you're all doing well. I've been worried about everybody here lately, and I usually save my words of encouragement for the end, but we gotta talk about them in the front side this time. I have seen people hurting. I've seen people angry. I've seen people not know what to do or what to say. And that's horrible. It's, it's a horrible feeling that everybody feels that way. Last few months, all of us have felt lost in some way. And I don't have the answer, but I want you to know that you are not alone in those feelings. Uh, a lot of the anger and rage that people have been displaying in the last little bit are from people that I never would have thought would have had that kind of anger and rage. I hope that you're all safe. I hope that you're all healthy. I hope that you realize that every life is precious. Everyone is precious. It's not just one group that's special. Everybody's special and everybody deserves to be treated the same because we are all the same. We might have different traits, but our hearts pump the same and we're all the same. Uh, and I hope you know that there's somebody out there that, that cares. There's people uh, that are, are concerned and that people that care. And I don't have the answer, but I know that hatred, violence is not the answer ever, no matter what happens. Treating an injustice of any kind with further injustice is just wrong. It's not gonna make anything better for anybody. And I'm thankful for all of the good people that are out there. I'm thankful for every one of you guys that treat people the way you're supposed to treat them. Be kind to them. I tell you that every time because love is the greatest gift we'll ever have. And sometimes, especially in the last few days, it's felt like that love was lost. I want to be a positive influence always. I've had people say that I am not, <laughs> and I care about you guys. I hope that each one of you lives a long life. I hope that you live safe and healthy. And I don't care what flavor you are. I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you glow in the dark. I hope that you're happy. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care about any of that. If you can find happiness, I'm all for you. And I want the best for each one of you guys out there. <sighs> I've tried all day long not to do this segment, but I could not tell you that somebody cares about you. And I hope that you guys are okay. And remember, hatred is never the answer. Because there's a lot of folks that I particularly don't care for, but hating them isn't going to make anything any better. And it won't, and destruction will not make anything any better. If burning down a town would bring back one person that was killed unjustly, I'd like to match myself. But it won't, and it never will. So remember that, and be kind, because God knows we need it. And I don't care what God you pray to either. If you're right in your soul, more power to you. You're above a lot of people. I love you, and I'm sorry I can't fix it. Because if I could, I would. Today we're going to talk about something that I've, I've always found cool. I don't have my energy today. The news has just taken it out of me. But I'm going to tell you about it because it is something neat. It's something that um, was made sometime between probably 1820 and 1840. They, there wasn't a major war going on, so they didn't improve a lot of things and change a lot of things the way you would expect. This one is what's known as a common militia buckle. <laughs> I don't know why they have to put common in front of things because it makes it sound common and it's not. It's just a militia belt and buckle, 1820, 1840, and they're beautiful. You see a lot of them uh, because they survive because they're very well built. They're built out of a stamped or rolled piece of brass. Sometimes you'll see it a piece of copper. 
and you'll wonder why they use brass and copper. It's because of the finish that you put onto the metal. Copper holds silver better and brass holds gold better. So you'll see the gold with the gilding, the brass, you'll see the brass with the gold gilding and you'll see the copper with the silver wash just because it held better. This one is made out of stamped brass, rolled brass, with the impression of the Union Eagle. And like we've always talked about, it has the Union Eagle uh, with the arrows of war in one talon and the branches of peace in the other. Uh, above the eagle, it has the banner with the E Pluribus Unum, the national motto. And that motto's never been more important of today. It's E Pluribus Unum, which is Latin, and it translates, of many, one. We are one country. For good or bad, it's the best deal going because you don't see people trying to sneak into uh, Saudi Arabia. That just don't happen. The uh, Above the banner, it has the stars. You'll see them with different amounts of stars. And I think they're beautiful because look at the background on this. You'll have cannons, you'll have uh, horns, you'll have muskets. It's a beautifully designed thing and they'll all be slight variations of this pattern that you see here. If you flip the plate over, you see this and they have what's known as a loop bar on one end to go through the end of the belt itself and on the other side they have a curved hook and that hook fit into the keeper on the other side of the buckle. And you can see it here. Those are usually made of either brass or iron. You'll see both versions. Some of them are a little better made than others. And they'll show up on a lot of different belts, quality of belts especially. This one is on a really pretty white buff leather belt. And it's one of those you don't see very often. This one is in great shape. It's available on ShilohRelics.com. You can see all kinds of pictures of it. And it even has on the inside of it, look at this. This is the adjuster on the inside of it. Almost always missing. This one's there and pretty. It's a really nice plate. The plates are actually interesting because they were dressing out. After the War of 1812, these soldiers came home and the, they formed local militia units, like National Guard units. And they would have these really fancy uniforms made. They'd have these kind of buckles and then they'd have tall hats. And on that tall hat, they would have a matching hat plate like this. And so you can have, in your collection, you can find the belt buckle and you can find the hat plate. And so it makes a nice addition to show them both. They'll run a wide variety of prices. Most of these belts are in really rough shape. So you're basically buying the buckle and the buckle will usually run you five to $800. And the belt just depends on the amount uh, of condition on the belt, they can go on up to a few thousand dollars. This one is available today. Everything changes and you guys have been ordering these things and I really appreciate it. Uh, but today, business is secondary. I hope that you know that love is first. Uh, I hope that everybody is safe. That's the main thing. I hope that uh, you guys are careful. I hope that when you see somebody, you treat them the way you would want to be treated. Uh, I know I hadn't walked on any water today and hell, I won't start tomorrow, but it's not because I don't want to. And it's not because I don't try. I hope that you guys are okay. And remember that I love you and I'll catch you next time. Have a good day.